Good day, nature lovers. Today, we're on the hunt for one of the world's happiest animals, the adorable and irresistibly charming quokka. Nestled in the southwest region of Australia, these small marsupials are known for their cheerful expressions and friendly personalities. Often described as the happiest animal on earth, quokkas have a knack for capturing hearts around the globe. Their habitat, the idyllic rottenest island, a haven of pristine beaches and lush vegetation. Here, amidst the tranquility, the quokkas frolic and play, their teddy bear-like faces and perpetual grins lighting up the landscape. It's no wonder they've earned the nickname the world's happiest animal. But what's the secret behind these smiles? Some attribute it to their naturally curious and social nature. Quokkas are often found in large groups, engaging in playful interactions with each other and with humans. Their friendly demeanor and lack of natural predators on Rottnest Island have made them incredibly trusting of humans. This trust has led to many magical encounters for visitors, creating memories that last a lifetime. Rottnest Island has become a beacon for quokka enthusiasts. People flock from all corners of the world to experience the joy of meeting these delightful creatures up close. It's a unique experience, one that allows you to connect with nature in a way that's both profound and heartwarming. Yet, these cheerful critters are more than just cute faces. They're skilled survivors, adapting to a variety of environments, from dense forests to coastal scrublands. Their diet is mainly vegetation, but they won't say no to the occasional insect or small animal. Despite their popularity, life isn't all sunshine and smiles for the quokkas. They face threats from habitat loss, introduced predators, and human encroachment. Conservation efforts are in full swing to protect their habitat and ensure their survival. But what exactly makes them so joyful? Quokkas are naturally curious and social animals. They're often found in large groups, where they engage in playful interactions with each other and with humans. These small marsupials have a friendly demeanor and a seemingly constant smile, earning them the title of the happiest animal on Earth. As residents of the southwest region of Australia, Quokkas thrive in a variety of environments, from dense forests to coastal scrublands. In these habitats, they live in large, sociable groups, engaging in friendly interactions that further emphasize their playful and cheerful nature. Quokkas are known for their extraordinary lack of fear towards humans. This unique trait is largely attributed to the absence of natural predators on Rottnest Island, their primary home. This lack of fear, combined with their natural curiosity, often leads to delightful encounters between quokkas and humans. From curious sniffs to playful hops, these interactions are truly a sight to behold. But don't be fooled by their small size and friendly nature. Quokkas are also skilled survivors. They have adapted to thrive in a variety of environments and have a diet that primarily consists of vegetation supplemented by insects and small animals when necessary. Their adaptability and resilience are truly remarkable, showcasing the strength that lies behind their adorable smiles. These endearing creatures have not only captured the hearts of Australians, but have also charmed people from around the world. Their home, Rottnest Island, has become a popular tourist destination, attracting visitors eager to experience the joy of interacting with these cheerful animals up close. Indeed, there's something incredibly special about the quokkas. Whether it's their friendly interactions, their playful behavior, or their irresistible smiles, these creatures have a unique ability to bring joy to those who encounter them. They are a testament to the wonders of nature and the incredible diversity of life that our planet has to offer. Rottnest Island has become famous as the home of the quokka attracting visitors from far and wide who come to experience the joy of meeting these delightful creatures up close. But quokkas aren't just all smiles, they're also skilled survivors, able to thrive in a variety of environments, from dense forests to coastal scrublands. These adorable marsupials with their famous sunny dispositions are not just about cuteness, they are also masters of adaptation, living in a variety of habitats in Western Australia from the small islands off the coast like Rottnest and Bald Island to the mainland areas around Perth. The quokka's diet is as varied as the habitats they inhabit. A herbivore at heart, the quokka's palate prefers a variety of vegetation, 
From grasses and leaves to the bark of trees and even some fruits, these animals are not fussy eaters. They have a particular fondness for the succulent leaves of the rottenest island pine and the fruits of the prickly moses, a native Australian wattle. However, don't let their mostly plant-based diet fool you. Quokkas are opportunistic feeders. This means, when the opportunity arises, they won't shy away from the occasional insect or small animal. This ability to diversify their diet helps them survive in environments where food sources might be scarce. It's this adaptability that allows quokkas to thrive in different types of terrain. From the dense underbrush of forests where they can hide and find plenty of food, to the sandy dunes of coastal areas where they can burrow into the ground for shelter, these creatures have learned to make the most of the resources around them. This is not to say life is a breeze for these cheerful critters. Quokkas have to contend with a lack of fresh water sources, especially on the smaller islands. To combat this, they've evolved to obtain most of their water needs from their food, reducing their need for direct water intake. So, despite their always happy faces, quokkas are tough little survivors, expertly navigating their way through the challenges of their environment. Their diet, primarily consisting of vegetation, supplemented by the occasional insect or small animal, plays a key role in their survival and adaptability. These small marsupials are a testament to the resilience and tenacity of nature, always wearing their iconic smiles, come rain or shine. Despite their popularity, quokkas face threats from habitat loss, introduced predators, and human encroachment. These small marsupials, with their friendly smiles and playful nature, are not exempt from the harsh realities of ecological imbalance and environmental changes. On Rottnest Island and smaller islands off the coast of Western Australia, where quokkas have carved out their home, they've endured the loss of natural habitats due to development and climate change. These environmental shifts make it harder for them to find food and safe spaces to thrive. But it's not just habitat loss that poses a threat. Introduced predators such as foxes and cats are a significant concern. Since quokkas are trusting and naturally curious, they often become easy prey. These predators, not native to the quokka's environment, pose a severe threat to their survival. Human encroachment is another challenge. While most humans adore quokkas and want nothing but the best for them, some interactions can be harmful. Feeding quokkas human food, for example, can lead to health issues for these little creatures. As they become accustomed to human food, they may also become less adept at foraging for their natural diet which can further threaten their survival. But here's the good news. Efforts are being made to ensure the long-term survival of these cheerful creatures. Conservation organizations, government bodies, and dedicated individuals are working tirelessly to protect quokka habitats and to educate the public about responsible interactions. Programs are in place to control introduced predators, and strict regulations now protect the quokka's natural environment from further development. Education initiatives aim to inform visitors about the importance of not feeding quokkas and respecting their natural habitat. These conservation efforts are critical to ensuring that future generations will continue to enjoy the charm of the quokkas. It's a team effort involving scientists, conservationists, local communities and responsible tourists. Conservation efforts are underway to protect their natural habitat and ensure their long-term survival. After all, a world with quokkas is undeniably a happier place. So, there you have it. The lovable quokka. A true symbol of joy and resilience in the Australian wilderness. This small, cheerful marsupial, native to the southwest region of Australia, has indeed captured the hearts of people across the globe. With their round, teddy bear-like faces and perpetual grins, it's no wonder quokkas are often dubbed the happiest animals on Earth. Throughout this journey, We've discovered their playful and friendly demeanor, their social interactions within large groups, and their magical encounters with humans. Their home, the beautiful Rottnest Island, has become an attraction for visitors worldwide who wish to experience the joy of meeting these delightful creatures up close. But quokkas aren't just about smiles and sunshine. They are skilled survivors, able to thrive in diverse environments from dense forests to coastal scrublands, their diet, primarily vegetation supplemented by the occasional insect or small animal, supports their survival in these varied habitats. 
However, despite their popularity and charm, quokkas face significant challenges. Threats from habitat loss, introduced predators, and human encroachment jeopardize their existence, but with ongoing conservation efforts, there is hope. These initiatives aim to protect their natural habitat and ensure their long-term survival, allowing future generations to experience the joy these animals bring. Quokkas serve as a reminder of the magic that the natural world holds, a world that often goes unnoticed as we rush through our lives. They invite us to pause, to appreciate the beauty around us, and to find joy in the simplest things. Whether you encounter them in the wild or on the internet, these little creatures are sure to bring a smile to your face. So let's do our part to ensure their survival and happiness for generations to come. Let's cherish them, respect their habitat, and contribute to their conservation. Because the world is undoubtedly a happier place with quokkas in it.